channel again? I swear he never learns. Every time I'm about to film and I have all my lighting set up, my backdrop ready, he's already on the chair. He wants to be Jesse V. And listen, Hank, I'm flattered. I love you so much. But you should start your own channel, maybe. Hey guys, it's Jesse V. And as you can tell by the title of today's video, today we're continuing our creepy crayon series, this time talking about the color green, which as you can see, Hank is. I also picked out a green shirt today, although it's kind of yellow. It's like a lime green, but I figure it works. But before I get started, I wanted to tell you guys about something really exciting. So as you know, Hank has been in my life for probably five months or so now. He's appeared in videos very sneakily. He's been on my Instagram. He has been all over our house. The dogs want to eat him. They do. But the exciting announcement is that Hank is no longer going to be living with me. He's going to be going to live with one of you guys watching right now. So I have partnered up with a company called Tings and they allow creators to do online auctions of items that their subscribers have some sort of personal connection to. So I was really excited about posting on this website, but I just want to let you guys know that I'm not going to be collecting any of the revenue for myself personally. The reason why I want to do these auctions is so that all the money received will go towards our Yana Foundation. I'm sure many of you guys watching already knows what that is because I talk about it all the time, but it's an anti-bullying movement that I started that bring people together, create friendships. It gives a safe place in schools for people to go who are feeling isolated, alone. It's just a really great program and we have almost a hundred schools all over the world. The problem is all of these schools want to do these really exciting new projects using Yana, but we don't have the funding for it. So anytime that I post an auction on Tings, all of that money, every last cent will be going towards our Yana Foundation. So I have just put Hank up on that website. I will link it down below in the description. The auction only lasts for 48 hours. So once that is up, whoever put the highest bid will be able to take Hank home. And that's not the only thing. Whoever gets Hank also gets a personalized video from me. And yeah, it's just super exciting because Hank is awesome, but it's more so towards making the Yana Foundation even bigger and better. I feel like I'm gonna miss him, but I also know he's gonna be going to a very good place. And I feel like he's excited about it, right Hank? He's excited. All right guys, if you would like to get Hank, I have put the link down below in the description. Just be warned, he may start wanting to make videos in your house, so keep an eye out. All right guys, so without further ado, let's get into this video about the green crayon. So this story is called The Teeth. And this story came from one of my subscribers named Trevor. He gave me permission to tell this story. And it's about a very strange humanoid being that he used to be very afraid of when he was a kid. And he said he used to call the thing that he saw the teeth. It all started one day when him and his friends went to the dollar store to pick out goofy items to wear to a costume party they had all been invited to. He guessed he was maybe around eight years old at the time. One of his friends chose glasses with a nose attached. Another chose a funny hat. And Trevor chose glow-in-the-dark vampire teeth. Now they all went to this party, they had a blast, and when he got home, he put the teeth on a shelf in his closet. Now he had one of those sliding door closets, and he always just kept it open because his room was such a mess and his closet was overflowing with clothes and toys that he wasn't able to close it himself. The only way is if he did a massive clean out, which I feel like we all relate to. There was something just so weird about lying in bed in a pitch black room and only being able to see these bright green glowing teeth in front of his bed. He was almost mesmerized by them and found it really difficult to fall asleep. And the more he stared, the stranger things got. The teeth began to move around as if someone was wearing them. At first, he thought that maybe one of his friends had snuck into his room to play a prank on him. So he called out a couple of his friends' names but got no response. He just laid there in his bed watching as these glowing green teeth just moved moved up and down around his closet, and they were also opening and closing as if they were saying words that he wasn't able to hear. And he was just lying there praying that they wouldn't come near him. Because obviously if they got close, that meant that whatever was wearing them was also getting close. After what seemed like a really long time, he gathered the courage to call his parents into his room. And they explained to him that sometimes your eyes can play tricks on you in the dark, which is honestly really, really true. I used to have this Britney Spears and Padme poster on my wall in front of my bed as a kid. And I remember that at night, if I stared at their faces for a really long time, I would see them start to make these really sinister faces at me. Like they would have these evil smiles appear or their heads would move around. And it creeped me out so much that I eventually got rid of them, which really sucked because I really loved especially that Padme poster. Star Wars is everything. But their faces in the dark, it was just not working for me. Anyways though, Trevor's parents took those teeth 
out of his room and he thought that that was the end of them. But unfortunately he was wrong because the next night as he was just about to sleep, he once again saw those glowing teeth across the room. Except this time they almost seemed bigger in a way. He also could have sworn that he saw a shadow of a humanoid body standing there wearing them. So the next day he decided to draw the creature that he called the teeth. So he took a black piece of construction paper and the brightest green crayon that he could find and began to draw. He drew a man with a long skinny neck, straight hair, with a mouth and teeth taking up his entire face. He then showed his parents and told them that that was what he had been seeing in his room. His mother was so disturbed by the drawing that she immediately took it away from him and spent the entire day herself cleaning up his whole room so she'd be able to close his closet door. He told me that he has no idea where she ever put this drawing, he doesn't know if she threw it out or put it away somewhere, but he wished he did have a photo of it so I could show you guys because this picture that I've been putting in the video is just one that I happened to find online and luckily it looked like what he was speaking of. And he said that after his closet door was closed, he never saw this thing ever again, but he still secretly drew this creature with green crayon in his notebooks at school without his mother knowing. And this lasted for years until eventually it didn't bother him anymore. So yeah, I definitely found that story to be really, really creepy and disturbing. And once again, if any of you guys watching have any creepy stories to do with the remaining colors of crayons that we haven't done yet, definitely DM me on Instagram. I go through my DMs every single day and while I can't get back to everybody, I do find some really cool stories that you guys send me. Please don't email me any of these stories because it just goes to my management team and unfortunately they have to delete them if they're not business related. So just go and DM me on Instagram. My Instagram is Jussie B. Anyways though guys, that is the end of today's video. If you would like me to continue this creepy crayon series, give this video a thumbs up and let me know and send me your interesting DMs. And if you would like to take Hank home and adopt him, I put the link down below in my description. Don't forget you only have 48 hours. But yeah, I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!